today's video we're going to be talking about Teachers Pay Teachers TPT and some of the newer updates. I've actually got 10 things I'm going to quickly share with you. I'll be turning the camera around so you can see these things. I'm not just going to tell you. I'll show you. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, if you are new or returning, be our guest. Hello, hello, welcome, hello. <laughs> Here at Edsel Primary we talk teacher side hustles and TPT is at it again. They're providing new features. They are updating some things and I'm gonna turn the camera around in just a moment. Let me tell you the one thing I'm probably not gonna talk about in these 10 things and that is the algorithm, the search algorithm. They are continually tweak, I shouldn't say continually, they're tweaking it. Well, if you get a really unusual search when you're doing searches, send it to them. Just take a screenshot, send it to them. I mean, I've been reporting more and more. <sighs> Someone's trying to sell actual movies, right? I report them. So if you see things like that, just report, just report. Okay, let's go through these. Okay, and I, as I said, I will turn the camera around every time I have something to show you. Number one, first of all, the TPT main page. When you go on there, and not to your store, but to the main page where if you were a buyer, you would be searching. The filters that are normally along the left side are up along the top. And I will put a picture here. And this is great because they've added a couple extra features. I think media, they've added uh, speech, they've added specialty. Terrific, okay. So it just takes a little bit getting used to. You can still only click on one, that's okay. It's it's fine. And so it's just a matter of getting used to that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Let me know how you are feeling with it. Anyway, so, so that's the, that's one. Uh, do you also have a new TPT or I think they've just upgraded the TPT blog. And so they've been putting features on that. If you were a new seller, they have some, a very good little feature on um, eight, the eight steps to start your own store. In fact, maybe I should do one of those too. Let me know if you want one of those and I will do one. I wish they would show more video personally than just talk about it. Like give us, they, they've got a few pictures. So that's, that helps. So new homepage, new blog, number three. Let's talk about the conference. They have announced the TPT Forward Conference for 2024. It is July the 9th to the 11th, I'll put it right here, in San Diego, California. Now, in my few years that I've been with TPT, they've all been on, well, no, I shouldn't say that. They've all been east. <laughs> and so to have a West Coast conference is terrific. Now, right now, face-to-face -face only, which really eliminates a lot of people, right? And I'm really hoping they might change their minds and make it virtual. I was actually tentatively planning on going to the conference this year. I don't know why. I just thought maybe I should just go to one, right? And now that it's in San Diego, I might. However, with my ear damage, or I might, I shouldn't say ear damage, with my ear, the way it is, I can't fly. I've been actually grounded. So if I went, I'd have to take a bus. Oh, I can't imagine a bus. Or the train, which I could take Amtrak. That would be kind of fun. I don't know whether I'd drive it. I think I would just rather enjoy it, right? Enjoy the ride, <laughs> which means I, I couldn't stop. But anyways, I'm still thinking about it. Let me know if you are planning to go to the conference next year. There will be more details for sure. But anyways, it's in San Diego. And registration, early registration is on now until November 30th, or maybe it's December 30th. I, that I forgot to check. Okay, but registration has started. Early registration. Next one. Number four, note to followers. This is a good one. I'm really happy with this one. When I first started on Teachers Pay Teachers, note to, follow, note to followers could only be once a month. I think it was once a month. And then it moved to once a week, which is fine. Uh, but now you can hold your drafts, which you couldn't before, and you can also schedule. So you could actually batch a couple and then schedule them out, which would be really good. This is one easy, fast, cheap, free way to market. Send a note to your followers. 
okay? It doesn't mean if you have a thousand followers or 500 or 100, it doesn't mean all of them are going to see it, but it's not going to be affected by any algorithm or anything like that, like Instagram or Facebook. It will just go out and you can make these little carousels. Maybe I'll make a video note to followers, okay? That might be one I'll do. This is, this one's interesting. I'm not sure the advantage of it, but we'll, we'll find out. You have now an opt-in on site-wide sales, whether you want to just, by clicking one little thing, everything just automatically goes 20% off, which makes it easier, but <laughs> you know, then uh, especially if you are, have just added a product last minute before the sale and it doesn't get that automatic sale. So I think this automatically does it. Have to see this one in action. I'll do it for the cyber sale, which is in end of November and see if it works. But and then I'll let you know. One feature that is coming is the optimization of our covers. Every so often I get a message going, Lorianne, my cover looks blurry on TPT. That is actually done intentionally. They do that so that people won't copy them. They won't just lift them. People still copy. <laughs> and unfortunately, I just listened to another person who's showing how their, not only their covers, but their products are being copied almost word for word. So sad. What they've decided to do is any products covers, any product covers uh, created after or uploaded after 2017 will get this optimization. And if you have older products, which would probably eliminate most of us, if you have products prior to that, it won't be affected. So which means you should probably make a new cover. That's a hint. And if you want to know what they recommend as the size, in pixels, it's 750 times 750. I'll put it right here, which is a square, okay? Square covers, still square covers. Um, something that was announced last month, and I didn't really talk about it, is bundle pricing flexibility has happened. Before, you were not allowed to exceed about 50%. Now you can pretty much take a $100 product and sell it at $10 or something crazy like that. Why? Don't do it, okay? You know, some sellers are very desperate right now for sales, and they will do that, which, again, hurts the rest of us if someone's really underselling. You've got to do what's best for you in your store, okay? Um, the next one I talked about, but it was a good reminder because I forgot about it. And what that is, is on the blog, they posted an article that says, what are teachers looking for for November and December? And they based it on the top 100 searches last year. I wish I'd remembered this last week when I was talking about keyword research. Because sometimes people say, I don't know what to research. And I gave some suggestions, but here's another suggestion. Take that list and just put in those words in whether you're using Seller Spy or Teacher's Boost, put those words in and, that, and they'll give you longer keywords, right? So for example, I think the number one search for grades one to four was Christmas. So if you just type in Christmas, now that's going to be a huge one. I think the volume will be huge. But if you put in the word Christmas and then just watch what Christmas things show up. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture right here. <laughs> that's a great way to place to start. So look to see what was most searched last year and, and use that. Anyways. They pull out, they actually put out that feature every two months and I, I totally forgot about it. I had actually written down the words, uh, I don't know, um, maybe even a year ago, can't even remember. It's a great way to get some ideas for products. Next one, we're almost done here already, is the set, um, what is it called, set away? Oh, it's an away status. So you can actually, if you're going to go away for two weeks and you're just not going to be available online for buyers to send you a message, you can actually put an away status, okay? You're going to go to your account, go down the left-hand side, under profile, it's about the fifth one, and, it's, and you can actually put in the dates. And so say, let's say you're taking a two-week trip. Put the dates in and put a message. 
And that way, if a buyer wants to ask you something, they can see that message and go, okay, she's not, she's not even available. That hopefully will not turn out to be something negative, right? Maybe they're just going to ask you a question and you can come back to that, okay? I'm glad they did that. It's kind of like Google email does that. I love that with Google, Google mail. And I'm sure other uh, emails do that too. Please never forget that you can also get up-to-date information on the seller forum on TPT. If you go to your house, go down almost to the very bottom, it says sellers forum. There are tons of things. If you want a free TPT store review, say, hey, I'm new. Can you please someone look at my story? You'll get people. Okay. You don't know them. So they'll give you some very objective information. Or if you just have questions about something, there's usually somebody on there all the time that will answer. And sometimes a moderator uh, from TPT will show up and answer something. And the TPT uh, staff, particularly Karen and Amy, are usually in there every week posting something. They recently posted something about VAs, which I won't get into on this video, but you can get some, uh, if you're thinking about having a VA, Karen posted something, was it last week or the week before, on some features for VA logins. So there's lots of stuff on there that I'm not addressing. And honestly, some people, when they say, how do you know so much? I get, I go into seller forum. I used to go in religiously every week, every, you know, two times a week or something like that. Now I'm barely in there, but I, I still go in there probably once or twice a month. It's not, it's not often. Yeah, every so often you'll see comments from me in there. There was something else I was going to talk about. That's nine. What was number 10? <laughs> Anyways, that's nine. I give you nine. <laughs> I think that's nine. Next week's video is actually an update on Canva. Wow. Canva's got some very cool things happening right now. I'm, I'm just kind of like, it's amazing. So I'm going to give you a Canva one. I will do, I will do a cover in Canva. I'll show you how I do it. covers and thumbnails really quickly in Canva. And I love it because I often use the same kind of template for my covers and th thumbnails. And I can even do a PDF preview in there as well. Like I love Canva. Yeah. If you're not using Canva, there's a lot you can do even on the free one. We'll also talk about terms of use when it comes to Canva, because there are some things you cannot do with your products with Canva, but covers and thumbnails and things like that, that's all fine. Okay. So don't worry about that. Also, I'm going to be, um, I mentioned in the last week video and there's already two videos, little videos. One of them I'm wearing the same shirt <laughs> and the other one, I can't remember what I'm wearing, but there is one on, um, how to secure your Google Slides. If you're making products in Google Slides, how do you secure them? So that video is a little, it's a, sh it's a short one. I think it's like five minutes, five, six minutes. And then the other one was just a recent request about bundles. How do you make a bundle in TPT? So I'm gonna be doing that one. It's another short one. So like I said, they're gonna be midweek over the next couple weeks. If you have a tutorial, even if I've done it like long ago, ask me again because I do know that some of these videos that people are starting to ask questions about, some of those videos are like two, three years old now. So they need updating. So feel free to send me a message. You can email me if you don't want to post it down below, but let me know if there's a tutorial you're looking for. And if it's a short one, I'll put it midweek. If it's a longer one, it could be a Saturday video. Okay. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy. And we'll catch you in that video or the playlist. See ya.